Welcome to Planet Elgo, where we discuss all things about the Algorand network. Participation rewards are on their way out, and the new governance program with its rewards is on its way in. This was the announcement made yesterday by the Algorand Foundation. We will be going into this governance program more. However, first, I believe it's important to understand who the foundation is and what they do. The Algorand Foundation was formed in order to promote the decentralization and encourage participation in the Algorand ecosystem. They have many resources available to them, including an AERP fund, which is what pays out your current participation rewards. Basically, the governance of the Algorand ecosystem has been handled by the foundation so far, and I personally believe they have done a great job. And in the presentation yesterday, they covered much more of what they have done, and if you are interested, I will link to it below. The Algorand Foundation recognizes that now is a time for change. The reason for this is that we have over 5 billion algos in circulating the supply, and the Foundation is committed to a fully decentralized platform. You have probably heard about decentralization when related to blockchain technologies. However, it doesn't just relate to technology itself. It can relate to governance. An example would be if you have one person who is fully in control of a country like a dictator or a king, that is a fully centralized form of governance. However, on the opposite end, if you have a country where everyone participates in every decision, then you have a fully decentralized governance. The Algorand ecosystem wants to move towards a fully decentralized governance, and in order to do that, the foundation understands that it must step aside somebody has to fill the role of the Algorand Foundation with governance and decision making, and that is where the new governance program comes in. The governance program will consist of governors. Governors are going to be voting on the issues that the foundation used to handle. Understand that the foundation itself will not participate or have any sway or control over the governance program. Now, anyone holding Algo can become a governor, and all are encouraged to do so. In order to become a governor, you have to commit your algo for a time period of 90 days and, very important, you must vote. For those who choose to become governors, there will be something called a governance reward program. To receive the reward, a governor must fulfill all their obligations for a 90-day period. That is, they must stake their algo and not withdraw it for 90 days, and they must vote. Both are critical. You can go ahead and withdraw your algo freely at any time, and you do not have to vote, but then you are forfeiting your reward. If you have fulfilled all your obligations, you will receive a reward at the end of the 90-day period. This reward is available to use immediately, and it is not locked. Before each governance period, there will be a five-day market event. This is where everyone will declare their intent to stake and to become a governor. Now the foundation has listed October of 2021 as the start of the governance program. There will be four entry points a year as every commitment period will be 90 days. Every one algo you stake is equal to one vote. Now in regards to voting, the foundation will set up the votes and it will declare its preference, but it will not participate in the voting and it does not get any governance rewards. They will also do something where they will have the ability to delegate your vote, i.e. you can go ahead and just vote with the foundation. I would recommend that everybody does as much research as possible. I know this isn't feasible because of time commitments, but it will help us achieve this fully decentralized community. Remember that opposing viewpoints is what furthers innovation. We need to have healthy debate on topics. So now when it comes to rewards, the basic way that it works is that the amount of rewards you receive will be determined by the number of people who decide to participate and how many algos that they commit. So each period is going to have an amount of rewards. And so, for instance, they give an example down here that if they have 4 billion algo entering the program, their rewards will be an annualized 300 million divided by 4 billion equals 7.7 .7 for every algo locked. Now, if you have less people that are committing their algos, for instance, they have down here, if 1 billion algo were locked for a period, then the rewards would actually equal a 33% return. They have announced that this will fully replace the existing participation rewards program by 2022. So I hope this covers any questions that you may have had on the topic today. If you have any comments or anything, please leave them down below. If you are enjoying this channel, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.